Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with the Aldi um, shopping kind of haul, can you call it? Well anyway, it's my weekly shop. So that's it all there. So without further delay, I'm just going to go through what I usually buy on a weekly basis. So first of all, the important stuff. <laughs> Kitchen towels, great for cleaning up after the, um, the puppies and dogs and every other household mess these are 99 pence these kitchen rolls we've got the nine pack of the aldi loo rolls um the bottled water three six nine twelve bottles of this bottled water um we have the 30 pack of aldi crisps and in here there's prawn cocktail, ready salted, salt and vinegar, Worcester sauce and cheese and onion. And my favourite is the cheese and onion. Closely followed by the prawn cocktail. So next, I buy the 50-50 bread. So that will last probably a day in this house. So I buy that daily really. Um, I have some hot dog buns and some... There's eight sliced rolls there for burgers. I do have a jar of hot dogs to put in these. Some tortilla wraps. Uh, great for packed lunches. I have bought some turkey mints. So I think it's £1.89 for um, 500 grams of turkey mints. 7% fat. I don't use beef mints, not ordinarily. Um... I like to stick with the turkey mints at the back there. Um, so I've bought this for a Sunday lunch, a Sunday roast for the rest of the family. I don't really eat red meat that much. And I've bought these two kilograms of chicken fillets and these were 8 99 uh, The price of the meat there, they're all individually priced in, in Aldi and... How much is that? Oh, it's £5.59. I was looking at the other price, but that's £5.59. Um, moving on. I bought these plain poppadoms for when we have a you know in Indian curry night and the pack of four vegetable samosas. Scotch eggs for the kids because they love them. Some two bags of pasta. I go through quite a lot of pasta, so great for pasta bakes. Um, I bought oh pizzas. I buy the stone baked sourdough ones. Um, this one is in barbecue meat feast, barbecue meat feast with the stuffed crust and chicken and chorizo. So great to just throw in, you know, my son when he comes in from school, he's normally really, really hungry and we don't eat till later on. So sometimes I just throw in a pizza for him, you know, until um until we eat later. So yeah, great handy to have in. Not not the healthiest, but hey, you know. So um moving on, I buy these chicken Kievs and these are absolutely great with them um, curly fries there absolutely love these curly fries so yep yeah. and these i haven't actually tried them my daughter has and she said that they were really nice so it's the individual uh, ready meals the beef lasagna the micro meals you can cook them in the oven as well um yeah um i bought two lots of garlic bread the garlic baguettes i bought the beef quarter pound of burgers and here i bought these breakfast pork patties i get these for my son as well and that's what i end up making with them didn't have any muffins today so i will be using the bread buns so we try i try to um imitate a mcdonald's mac muffin for him and he seems to quite like them so we have some ground coffee my other half i don't drink coffee but he loves coffee um we have wafer thin honey roast ham 
the end we had for just the onion sandwiches I put this in omelette as well I cut it up in uh, slices and, and put it in omelette I bought this chili, sweet chili chicken mini fillets for my other half, which goes great in just salads. And some basmati rice there. Moving on to these, I buy the chicken korma, well the jars of chicken korma because I'm a cheat, you know, um, I like an easy life. It's very easy to just cook some chicken up and throw that in. Again, the chicken tikka masala jars as well. And I'm all about the cheats where I'm afraid these days. You know, I've got a busy lifestyle, so why not cheat? <laughs> so I bought um, these jars of pasta sauce, the onion and garlic. Um, and I bought four of those. I do have some already in the cupboard. Um, when I do my pasta bake I'll use two of these jars at a time I mean I know it's easy to just you know buy the tomatoes I do buy tomatoes um, the tomato puree tomatoes or passata and your herbs and you know to put to put them in and some garlic but this just cuts you know it's just easy I just open the jar so yeah anyway um, cat food for my little Luna my little Luna um Pussy cat. Four baked beans. Absolutely love these baked beans. I like them more than the Heinz. I think they're lovely. So I always buy a four pack of them every week. Peanut butter for my other half because he enjoys that. Again, I don't really eat that. Um, what I do eat is the crisps. Yeah, I eat the crisps. That's me. That's my downfall, crisps. Uh, these peeled, plumbed, Plum tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Yeah, I'll eat them. Again, ice cream. I don't eat ice cream. I'm not really keen on it for my other half. Even my kids don't eat the ice cream. Uh, milk. Half fat milk for the family. Soya milk for me. Because um, fresh milk doesn't agree with me. I buy a huge block of mature cheddar cheese and for bacon I buy this margarine which is great for bacon. I buy the Nord pack um, butter for spreading on bread, uh, the cheese slices to go with the burgers. Uh, I have bought these bars of milk chocolate. For the kids, they like the, the white chocolate. You can get this in milk and dark, but they chose the white. A jar of mayonnaise. I normally get the lighter mayonnaise, but they didn't have it, so I've just had to get the full kind of fat one. We buy these chunky bars, which are a bit like a, um, a club. A club bar. Caramel biscuits, which are like the tunics. Caramel biscuits, if you're familiar with them. The Choco Break, which is Aldi's equivalent of a Kit Kat. And these Jive Bars, which are Aldi's equivalent of a Twix. So I got them. I got some 12 free range eggs. I, I probably should have picked another pack of them up because I do go through quite a few eggs. Uh, at the back, some salad a bag of salad which the chicken and um, this chicken i'll use in there spring onions for omelettes obviously eggs for omelettes um i bought two bags of carrots i go through quite a lot of carrots um i'll do casseroles and midweek dinners as well as the sunday roast so i'll be using those this week um, I have some bananas buried under there. I just buy the small bananas, the mini ones. I don't, I can't eat a full banana. Um, you know, if it's a big banana, I can't eat a full one, so I just get the mini ones. We've got a cucumber there. Um, to go with. Oh, I missed um the tuna out. I buy a four pack of tuna, four tins. 
so the cucumber will go in sandwiches for my son for school um with the cucumber i have bought a pack of sweet corn that is for me and i love it with just salt on barbecues um i like barbecues i like the you know the get together but the food i don't really eat much because there's a lot of meat on barbecues and i'm not a big meat eater but my most favorite thing on a barbecue is sweet corn absolutely love it i would like my family to go veggie but they're not having any of it i mean i do have meat you know i do eat chicken and the the um, mince but i could live without it um i've got these peppers just a trio of peppers green yellow and red and i bought two packs of those I bought some a pack of small onions and I also bought a pack of the larger onions you can see the size comparison there I usually use these in casseroles and stews um, and these ones I don't know when I do toasties I do like cheese and onion toasties or in omelettes you know um, I bought two turnips here again for dinners roast dinners and I bought some broccoli and I think that is it for the, the food haul. I know you don't see very much um, fruit here. Basically, there's only really the bananas here that is fruit. But the reason for that is I have uh, three fruit trees out the back. I have an apple tree, a pear tree and a plum tree. And I've just harvested the fruit from the trees. So um, we have apples and we have pears and plums and I've been distributing them to various members of the family and friends because there's way too many there. Um, I did do a vid of me preparing, you know, the, the, the fruit for freezing for over the winter, you know, because I can do sort of crumbles and things with it. But um, yeah, that is basically the, the shop. I know I've gone through pretty quickly and um, as I say, it is just part of my weekly shop. I haven't got any cleaning products. I don't buy my cleaning products from Aldi. Um, I do buy the Method Sprayer. I love this Rhubarb Method Sprayer um, and I get usually this from Sainsbury's. So I do buy like bits from Sainsbury's as well, but this is my normal sort of weekly shop from Aldi um, and I do go to Home Bargains too to pick up some cleaning products and things from there my son not the healthiest of things but he does like pot noodles Aldi does their version of pot noodles but he likes the golden wonder ones and he likes super noodles again Aldi does their version of like a super noodle but he he likes the the um oh bachelors yes it's bachelors so that's um the food shop right i did also end up picking up this broom from aldi it's just a a green broom it's very stiff bristled um and they're quite short and stubby they did have the longer bristled ones but obviously they, they were softer with them being longer. They were made out of the same, you know, material. But this is a really, really stiff yard brush. So um, I do like to get the pressure washer out and clean the, the patio down from time to time. But in between that, this is great. This works. I've got, a, I've had a brush similar to this, but it's worn out now. So I picked up that. That was 2 99 And also, and I cut absolutely can't recommend these enough honestly uh, they're absolutely fabulous my, my daughter's gone and bought one um for her house even though she hasn't got a house yet but um they're that good they're a silicon oven mitt a double oven mitt there um easily wiped clean absolutely fabulous they are um they're by kirkton house which i believe is aldi's kind of brand so yeah durable silicon cotton lining don't you don't burn your hands at all there's no heat comes through the gloves whatsoever so i say they're very easy to clean 
um this is another this is the second pair i've bought i've got a pair for home this is for my um caravan like my little holiday home uh to take to there but my, my david he, he usually you know what it's a real bugbear of my of mine but he'll get a tea towel and he'll use a tea towel to you you know using it as an oven glove and he just ruins all the tea towels so he's got no excuse you know with with oven gloves like this um he, he didn't like the material oven gloves and i must say i didn't i wasn't a big fan of them i think they're staying really really easy you can never ever wash the stains out you know no matter how hard you try so this is just brilliant it's wiped clean honestly i cannot recommend it enough uh as you can see the price is 6.99 and it's worth every penny absolutely every penny of it um i do there's my other one there that i have you know as i say this this one's for over the caravan but this has held up so well this this oven glove yeah get yourself down there and get one honestly right so that's it that's the end of the haul i hope you've liked this haul if you have please give me the thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed hit the subscribe button and please like and comment below so until the next time bye bye for now